Do you see what I'm holding in my hand? Yeah, it's a phone, Joe. You refer to me as Joseph of the Snips, okay? Joseph of the Snips. That's what Julian's guide calls me. Ashara calls me. Joseph of the Snips. <laughs> and when she does readings on other people, and for some reason if I am brought up my name or something, they tell them, you know, Joseph of the Snips, you are part of his tribe, you know. <laughs> it's great. So I gave you this dream the other day, right? When I was having my big rant on the damn dealership, Chrysler, effing piece of garbage van, it's brand new, you know, been a, started having problems at 8,000 miles. Um, and I said, you know, I think I said this in the video, I should have. They sometimes give me dual meetings or more than dual meetings. Like they're showing me this is going on, but it also means this. And I told you about the, the part shortage. I'm having a part shortage, you know, uh, dream. So get ready for part shortages. And by the way, I had one guy that works at Honda in my Patreon tell me, Joe, I'm a so-and-so at Honda. What you just said is correct. We right now know there are no parts available. We, the techs and parts department, we know there's no parts coming at least right now we are, you just said what we already actually know but we don't say that out loud to anybody he goes if you need more information i can tell you whatever i said well that's that's good that's fine and then someone else said the same thing they work somewhere else it wasn't a dealership but it was like a part supplier or something and same story so i just got a text message from the chrysler dealership moments ago that's why i'm showing you my phone good morning I'll just say Joseph of the snips we have a diagnosis on your Pacifica we need to start with an electronic coolant heater there is a hard fault set in the computer for it and the diagnosis flowcharts states it must be replaced before going any further in the process the ECH is on back order with no ETA on a release date. Unfortunately, at this time, we cannot say when we will have this part. My spirit guides are some awesome spirit guides. They are sent from heaven above come on man and cliff high is doing trying to do something right now and he goes well joe see if you can get a dream for me on this you know i don't want to say what he's trying to do because i don't know if he, he's public about it but it's nothing major and it's not a big deal but again that may be something he doesn't want repeated in his own personal life you know and I'm like, you know, yeah, okay, all right, you know, what? Well, maybe I'll get nothing. So I go to bed last night. I'm asking my guides, hey, in regard to my friend Cliff's blah, 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 blah scenario, uh, tell, you, you know, you know what I need to know about it. Just show me whatever I need to know to tell them. Like, that's the easiest thing to make it all make sense. I don't need to be specific. They already know what, it, you know, show me exactly what I need to give to him. And I go to bed, and of course, you know, I wake up. It's like maybe five something in the morning, I think. And of course, go to the bathroom, and I'm sitting, and I usually stand there, and I'm going, you know, so it's funny. I'll just tell you because I don't care. I'm standing there peeing, you know, and I'm just like, you know, you're like half asleep, you know. Uh, and I and I go, you know, did I have a dream spirit? Did I have something? Did I dream? Did you give me some? And then, you know, I started, oh, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, there's that one thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then, oh, but, but there it is. And <clears throat> I don't have to tell you what the dream is. The bottom line was, I'm pretty certain I did have to interpret the dream. And anyone I would repeat it to, you could easily go, oh, yeah, that kind of, that makes sense. Um, there's one part of the whole dream, and that was it wasn't a big dream. But there's one part in particular that was the kind of climax, the most important thing happening, uh, intense thing happening in the dream. That's your answer. 
Like, oh, there, there it is. And the area they put me in the dream was somewhat related to him, too. Like, I go, okay, you know, I think they showed me going here because, you know, in the dream. And then this event happened in the dream, and that's for you. So I messaged him today, hey, I got it. I think I got an answer for you, you know. So I just love how they'll give me something. And I'm sitting there telling you in that other, you know, 30 minute video raining about, you know, telling you about my dream and then talking to you about, you know, my my personal issue with the dealer. And I'm going, did they give me that dream just for me to go and tell you about my car? Like what's going to happen with my car? Like basically, I'm probably going to get a buyout. You have to fix the car in 10 days. You have to fix the car in 10 days. Not, there's a back-ordered part. We have no idea when it's coming in. Have a nice day. And that's just one of your problems, Mr. Uh, you know, I'll get Joseph of the Snips. Because they call me by my last name. I don't want to repeat it. So, um, I go... Well, I mean, that's exactly what I'm dealing with right now, but I don't know that they're going to have, I don't know what part's wrong. They may have it in stock, you know, for my, for my wife's car. And not to mention there's a couple, you know, there's like three different issues right now. That's one. That's just the check engine light. And the last time they checked it, we're, we're no, there's no cords, code store, we don't see anything. I go, I scanned it with my own scanner and I told you the code. Well, there's, not, there's nothing in there. It's not, uh, so this time he's like, yeah, it's a hard fault, you know, like whatever. Second time that that code, loud loud whining sound in the drivetrain as far as the electric motor goes on this particular vehicle. That just started a few days ago. And then when you let off the gas and hit the brake pedal, that's when the regenerative braking kicks in on this fan. And of course, it uses the electric motor, basically reversing the energy to go back to the batteries, it, which in turn helps you stop the car because it's putting a load on the wheels, right? The uh, That system. So it's also just as loud. Like, this is getting a lot louder than it used to be. Like, way louder. I'm going, I, I notice it. Oh, well, that's okay. I'm on the way to the dealer, too. So, yeah, I'll let them know. A is wrong. B is wrong. C is wrong. And here's D for you. Give me my money back. So, I'm now going to call my contact at the Lemon Law Chrysler section of the company who's been reaching out very, very much... Um, say progressive not progressive uh proactive joe did you did, you know did you bring it to the dealer yeah i did it's there okay i didn't see a reply in the email i was just checking oh i, I did reply but um new problem by the way motor wine sound electric motor oh, okay I'll, I'll jot that down okay i do have her phone number so i'll go ahead and repeat what i've got there again next wednesday because that was monday monday's the for day one monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday Saturday, tomorrow, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Wednesday is the 10th day. And again, love to have a Tesla. Model X for the for my wife. But I don't think I want to spend a hundred grand right now on a Model X new one. And yeah, even $80,000 for a used one is getting kind of ridiculous and I haven't looked in a while of course I had a need to but this goes for all cars right now and everything's way up 20% higher here 30% higher there it's like holy crap so of course Tesla same thing uh, although the Model S, uh, Model 3 is still decently priced um, I'm just gonna Tesla model I'm going to Auto Trader Model X There's a 2020 for $99,000. And uh, this is iDrive.net. You know, because you can go, you don't have to, you can go obviously to online and people selling their cars. Another 2020 Tesla Model X Performance, $110,000. No thanks. 2018 with 31,000 miles, $89,000. You guessed it. No thanks. There's a 2016. So this one's kind of old. It would be out of warranty. It's an a 75D, so 38,000 miles. They want 52,000 for it. Um, and that's a big no also. 2017 Model X Performance Edition, 37,000 miles on it. So a year newer than that one, 83,000. Same mileage basically, but not a 75D. It's a 
P100D, which means it is the big performance mag daddy one. Moving on down, another 2017, a 75D with 61,000 miles. They want 66,000. And uh, Auto Trader's quick to tell me, great price. Uh, what about the 2016? That's $52,000. So uh, here's another one. They're using 2019 and uh, 90D. So it's not a P90D, but it's a 90D. Um, 26,000 miles on it, 27,000 miles, $76,000. Mm, no so what we're talking about here maybe is getting again maybe a Honda minivan for the wife or I'll, maybe I'll do a quick search before I decide what I'm gonna do because they're gonna buy that car back from us let me just go ahead and say that and uh, <clears throat> got a five-year extended warranty on that thing give me a refund on that give me a refund on effing everything you piece of garbage, big three manufacturers of vehicles in Florida, or Florida, in the United States. You suck. You've been sucking. And there's no wonder why Hondas and Toyotas and Nissans, people get them. Because they don't break nearly as much as your garbage. And apparently Chrysler is the garbage of the garbage when it comes to the big three companies. Like I said, that someone pointed out the other day, they said, by the way, if you look at the stats over here, and I didn't go look, but they just said, uh, Lemon Law stuff, problems, uh, Chrysler's like the top. They're at the top of the list. And like I said the other day, I drive over there, and all three lanes are packed with people coming in with all kinds of Chrysler vehicles, Dodge, Chrysler, Jeeps, you know what I mean? Just a myriad of things, you know, vehicles. And... There's, you're waiting in line for 20, you're, I'm on time. I'm, I'm actually 15 minutes early, I'm in line. Thank God I'm 15 minutes early because if I got there on time, how far back behind would I be? I'm still waiting 20 minutes. So 20 minutes past my time. So I get there, it's 10.45, it's my time. I'm there 15 minutes early, so I'm there at 10.30. And I'm waiting 20 minutes past. So like basically, you know, five minutes past the hour, 11 o'clock or so. And I'm going, whatever. Here's the car, here's the keys. Have fun. And I had this knowing, you're not fixing it. You can't fix it. You're not gonna have parts. And the Lemon Law says you have 10 days. It does not say as long as you can diagnose it in 10 days. I have to then take this piece of garbage back and deal with the check engine light, this problem, that problem, while you wait for parts. No. So I look forward to making the phone call to that lady who's been very nice uh, at the headquarters, you know, not the local dealership and saying, okay, um, ready for the buyback. How do you wanna handle this? And see what happens. And uh, again, maybe time to look for a Honda minivan, or I know Toyota, Toyota has a, a Sienna, I think. We've never owned the Honda. I don't think we've ever owned a Honda. Do we ever have a Honda? Uh, as far as the minivan, I don't think we have. But I know it's one of the high ratings ones, you know, so I'm gonna do a little research, you know, and try to figure out best bang for our buck, best gas mileage kind of thing too. Like what, what's the options, Evelyn? You know, do you really want a minivan? Do you want something else uh, uh, that carries can carry more than five people? You know, our family is, is of six. Typically a minivan and stuff can handle seven. Maybe she'll want an SUV that has seven, but again, an SUV, gas guzzler, you know, I'm gonna have to do a little research. Again, I'd love to be like, you know what? Give me my Model X. And by the way, mate, you never know, Spirit may go, well, hold on, Joe, whoa, 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 Joe. Joseph of the Snips. What? There's still a few days left. There might be several days before you get this resolved. Yeah? You don't know what the crypto market's about to do. Yeah? Yeah. It may skyrocket. You may say, oh, that 100K Tesla, my fact, the 120K one? Go ahead and place an order. But Spirit, it says it's not available till January 2023. Remember that? Tesla. Now I gotta get ready to go for something real quick in a few minutes. Excuse me? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Excuse me? I started typing Tesla. Of course it auto-filled because I've already been there. I showed you the other day. I hit enter. 
you can see HTTPS meaning secure site tesla.com warning potential security risk ahead Firefox has detected a potential security threat and did not continue to tesla.com if you visit the site ta attackers could try to steal information what this tells me is that this is not what oh, it says there is not secure the HTTPS means secure which means the certificate is having an issue and again today is the 11th my friend Steven and I we kept seeing something about the 11th we're not sure what but today's supposed to be a big day God only knows what is it the cyber thing happening uh, and by the way I was watching a video the other day a Trump interview from these three young, younger guys I guess they do like a, they have a college dorm something podcast I've never heard of them before they have a pretty huge following they had a few million had two or three million followers I think and, and on YouTube and Trump, they're talking to Trump and he's mentioning stuff and he's he's uh, toward, I think it was towards the end and he's like oh don't be surprised when your video gets taken down and they're like this what video this video he goes yeah oh you're gonna post to YouTube yeah, yeah yeah don't be surprised he goes but we haven't really talked about anything that would violate the term so I, I'm not concerned about that well yeah okay bang saw their tweet today our video got taken down this is ridiculous <laughs> got him so I'm gonna go ahead and not go back I'm gonna go ahead and go to yeah error code SSL error bad certificate domain this is effing tesla.com you think they have oh, our IT guy messed up something no no so I'm oh we have we have a DNS problem folks we may be under the cyber attack I went ahead and continued the provided host name is not valid for the server that is a DNS problem domain name service so when you search for a site or you type in the site doesn't matter you click the link if you're in a search engine or you physically type it in either way it's an IP address located on a server somewhere in the world it's a number a private IP address like your local area network in your house is like 192.168.1. you know my laptops dot 15 and my other computers dot 16 and my other ones dot 17 18 you know all in that same subnet so on in the internet there's an enormous amount of numbers you know and there's four des there's three decimal points essentially or four you know first number dot second number dot set third number dot fourth number and they're up to 254 you can actually you know so it could be like 254.254.2 all the way from 1.1.1 right so there's a lot of domain addresses uh, IP addresses so when you type in you know Jason hip 4 you know or you know, not Jason for tesla.com the domain name services out there which there's a group of these master domain name service providers that store all that information what IP address goes to what domain or what domain name goes to what IP address so when I search for something I use you know fiber optic service here uh, frontier my system's going to use frontiers provided DNS server settings to my router downstairs it's all automatic so those routers the router downstairs gives my computer here's the DNS you're going to use which is essentially the router itself and then the router itself is using the DNS of whatever was provided to it by my service and then that service will ultimately use a bit the bigger broader service so if the bigger broader service says hey we get, we've been hacked there's a problem this is what's going to happen I can't even go to Tesla even including the SSL certificates not working okay that's fine I'll go un unsecured because I'm not like logging in with password I just want to look at the price no 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 sorry host name problem oh it's not valid oh my god we're having a cyber issue right now today today the day Steven and I go hey something's going on here so I'm gonna to try to go to Twitter right now oh Twitter works fine huh but Tesla doesn't how about patreon how about trading view yeah YouTube yep but Tesla Eh, maybe maybe it's a, maybe it's a little glitch in the matrix or or a little test run. Test. Let's try it again. Now it comes up. Test is up. Back up. So, you know, again, strange, strange timing. Um. Model. Not model S. Go back. Model X. Order now. 
and it's saying uh, again January 2023 that's the Model X non-performance version January 2023 estimated delivery if I hit the plaid one which is actually I'll tell you the one I you know again cryptos go ape shit here shortly I said the other day I'm not if I'm spending 100 grand I'm spending 121 grand to get uh, less than 10 second quarter mile time two and a half seconds zero to 60 you know what I'm saying um, that one SMA delivery October 2022 uh, I'm a little more reasonable but again we're in March let's just say April April May or April to May April to May June July August September October six months Joe, what's your wife going to drive in the next six months? Well, I do have a, a Dodge Ram. That turning race is, turning ratio is worse than terrible. Four-wheel drive. Lifted. She doesn't want to drive it. Doesn't like, you know, it's too much for her. I understand. Um, she could drive my Tesla, but what if we all want to go somewhere? We can't fit six in the Tesla. We can fit five, and it's a little tight in a little Model 3. You know, the Model 3 is a little smaller vehicle. But, uh need something that carries more people so what I could do let me order this buy a used vehicle real quick old old minivan or something just get her by for six months donate the thing when I'm done to a friend or something that needs it or try and re sell it then that kind of thing that may be where I'm heading folks 311 mile range now the Model S plaid back model s plaid which is the car which again would only fit fit five people anyways <clears throat> estimated july 2022 that's the regular version for 89,000 375 mile range model s plaid 348 mile range one less than two second zero to 60 1.99 available four to ten weeks Evan, you want a performance Model S? No? Yeah, probably not. Um, uh, excuse me, not performance Model S. It's now called the Plaid. This one's the Plaid one because it is stupid fast. But again, seats five people. You know what I mean? Not going to work. So I'm going to have some decisions to make. Okay. Okay.